I need to put this one in the bag. One of the kids made this this year at school. But I'm afraid if I don't put it in a bag, the moisture will mess it up. What babe? What babe? Go. You want cars? Christmas is officially over. The kids got all their gifts. They liked all their gifts. They've been playing with all their gifts. We have been like non-stop cleaning the house. But let me just show you what our bedroom looks like. Our old bedroom. We moved upstairs when we got the kids back and our room has turned into this. This is awful. Christmas is over. It's a new year. We are going to organize this horrible, disgusting mess. This is what parenthood looks like to newbies that don't know what they're doing and can't get their life together. Um, I mean, every, like if you go through our house, there is something, oh, here's some syrup, why not? Oh, here's some chocolate, let's do that. There's something every, everywhere. Something is everywhere. Something is everywhere. We are not about to live like this. We're not living like this. What an introduction! Thomas? No. What? I thought you got this, but you didn't get this one. I think uh, my mom or your Aunt Lisa. I was trying to find the one that you got me. Of our, all of our house all painted? Of us. It goes in that box. Mm, I think it's on the side. Uh, yeah. Hey! Oh, I can't see it. Doing? So Thomas got this for hey. me on our oh, first my house my together in 2015. We had already lived together at that point, but it was the first house that we renovated together. Mm -hmm. I just got together the orders. What else did I do? I did recycling. Oh, speaking of recycling, I took the recycling yesterday and it took me an hour to do all of it because we had so many boxes and so much paper from Christmas. Oh, I also got a haircut since the last time you've seen me. What, babe? It is big, you're right. So, I don't know if we told you guys, but PJ, yeah, we told you. PJ rescued a little kitty kitty who is missing an eye. And today, she's going to a brand new home. So we're getting her ready. We took her to get her shots yesterday. Everything looks good except for her missing eye. Here's what she currently looks like. Alistair, they have this really special friendship through the glass. And she's a really, really sweet kitty. We actually thought about keeping her at the last minute, but we have one too many mouths to feed. So she's going to our, actually our neighbor is taking her. She's about to come by and pick her up this morning. So we're happy she's going to a good home. Jeez, these windows. Are these windows dirty or what? Oh, these windows are dirty. Yeah. It can, it can work. Cool. Love it. Yeah. So the neighbor just came and got the kitty kitty. She is officially gone. We have decided no more pets for us. I will continue to rescue strays, but I will find them all. Yeah. yeah. The boys are helping me put the ornaments away. The big girl is drawing. Life update. All of the Christmas decorations are packed away. Thomas is working on our bedroom, starting with all the clean clothes, but it still looks like this. We still have to get through all of this. I cannot believe that this is what our room looks like. But not after today, Satan, not after today. So all of the Christmas stuff is put away. Thank God. The kids are down for a nap. We're gonna finish folding laundry and tackle this nightmare of a room. And then we're gonna eat lunch. That's all. Oops. <laughs> I just burped. Sorry, gotta go back. The living room is almost back to normal. This room, however, is not. We just finished our lunch. I'm about to go to the gym really quick because I'm about to explode with anxiety and it always helps. We are still working on this room. Okay. 
house is cooking. He's playing with his toy. My mom and my little sister are here to eat dinner, but me and Montana are going to be doing a TikTok video. TikTok video. What are we having? I'm making some kind of leftover prime rib carnitas thing. I made some mojo sauce, and that's about as far as I've got. Gotcha. Well, no, I made the pico de gallo too. Mm. So it should be good. Oh, and he also got a haircut yesterday. I already talked about that. Oh, well, I was there. Okay, bye. You did do it. I did it. You did it. Bedroom update. At the end of the day, this is all we got done. Finished. Whatever. We had dinner with the family. That was nice. Thomas pretty much made the entire dinner because me and my sister made a TikTok. And now Thomas is reading and we're about to watch Killing Eve. Or maybe we'll just do a TikTok, who knows? So tired. And you're drinking out of my water bottle. That's mine now. You don't drink water. I don't drink water. Good job, Susie. <laughs> you have a little bit more food. A couple more bites, okay? You're doing so good too. Let me see. <gasps> Couple more bites, I know. I'm so proud of you. You're eating so well, sis. Banana go the banana goes there? Yeah. Ah, you're right, the banana does go there. Yeah. Good job. What? Do I know it? Yeah. Yeah, it's a big monster truck. It's a truck. Big truck. It's a ball. Because we need to go get him. We need to go get him a truck? Why? What's wrong with the one he has? <laughs> oh my gosh. You better not hurt him. Okay, so we just finished editing the video and we thought that, you know, this is the ending of the video, but also it's the ending of our videos for 2019. It's the ending for our videos for this decade. So we wanted just to take a quick second and reflect on the year since it is the end of the year. We did some traveling. We got to go some places that we've never been before. We met some really cool people. We met a lot of you guys. And the craziest of everything is that we got licensed to be foster parents and we took in our first foster care placement of three kiddos who were all under the age of four. They were all in diapers at the time when we got them, two of them are potty trained now. But um, it it's been a very like challenging, rewarding, it's been a, an amazing year, I feel like. I feel like looking back on it, 
in the future when we look back on our life, we're going to always say 2019 was life changing. It was. It was. We decided this year that no matter what happens, we for sure want to be parents one day, whether that's now or that's later. That's the biggest thing that came from this is that we can't imagine what our life would be if we didn't have kids. We want kids. Mm -hmm. So I think that was the biggest thing that came from this year. It's been a really amazing, rewarding, challenging, fun, exciting, stressful year. Yeah, 100%. And so much of this year being so wonderful is because of you guys. Yeah. And so much of the last five years being so wonderful is because of you guys. We cannot thank you enough from the bottom of our hearts for everything that you have taught us for the kindness that you've shown us. I mean, you've written us letters, you've sent us emails, you have commented and watched our videos and DM'd us. And the things that you've taught us, I mean, it is crazy. We never, the feelings are indescribable coming from our small town that we live in. We never thought we'd get the opportunity to talk to people from all over the world. And you guys allowed us to do that. Yeah. And we can't thank you enough and we're so excited to see what the next decade brings us with you guys and we are excited to take you along so until next time bye y'all bye guys <laughs>